Photo Table is a great new template package to help you create photo slideshows quickly and easily, all inside Final Cut. Let me show you how it works. Photo Table comes with 25 presets, one of which is just a single photo so you can composite as many photos as you like. Each one comes with a different animation and amount of photos that you can move around and change. So you can very quickly create a slideshow without doing anything other than adding the photos. I'll go ahead and just drag one of these in and we'll see how it works. To add the photos, I'm going to select the drop well and then go back to my library and just click on a photo. And while I'm here, I can go ahead and fill in the rest of the drop zones as well. So these two photos are the photos that I can move around. And these are the background photos. I'll fill them in now. And when I'm done, I'll just click Apply Clip. And as you can see, I have on-screen controls that allow me to move the photos around very easily. I can also use the circle here to scale the image or make it smaller to fit my needs. And I can also rotate with these on-screen controls as well. In the inspector, I can also scale the image up inside the frame and then use the pan controls to slide them over. So you can be sure that your photo fits just right in the frame. Each template comes with an animation where the camera is either zooming in or zooming out or rolling. If I wanted to control this, all I have to do is scroll up to the top. At the very top I have dolly and roll. Motion is the interpolation between the way that it animates. So right now I have it set to ease out. I'm going to choose ease both. So it eases into the animation and out of the animation. So the dolly is set to 60 right now. Anything above 50 will zoom in and anything below 50 will zoom out. I'm going to park my playhead at the very end of it so I can see where it ends. Maybe I don't want to zoom that far out so I'll bring my dolly to about there. And then the roll is set to negative 5. Maybe I'll bring this up and it's going to roll that direction. And if I want to roll the opposite direction, I'll just type in the number here and use a negative value. So for instance, I'll choose negative 10 and hit return. So now we have an animation that's happening the other direction and it's zooming out. The background photos are set to blur and I can change the amount of blur as well as the background saturation. I'll bring that up as well. Border width allows me to change the border and it's congruent with all of the photos at the same time. And I can also change the color of the border. Each photo table template comes with a light that you can turn on and off with this little checkbox. And when it's on, you could also change the color of it here. Maybe I'll make it red to make it look more like a photo lab. And the light intensity is the amount of brightness of the light. And the fall off start and fall off are for vignetting. I'm going to reset the color back to white. And I'll add some finishing touches. I want to add a photo to this scene by having it fall onto the table. So I'm going to go back into my template chooser and choose extra photo. And I'll just drag that in. The bottom photo is animating and the dolly in and out is at, we'll set that to 30 and the roll will set to negative 5. I want to make sure to do the same thing to the extra photo so that it animates with the bottom layer. So I'll choose 30 and a roll of negative 5. So now you can see the photo is animating with the background. 
Now I want to have it fall onto place. So I'm going to place my playhead where I want the end animation to happen, which is exactly where it is. I might make it a little bigger and maybe rotate it just a little bit. Now I'm going to set my keyframes. I'm going to set this keyframe on scale frame as well as my rotation parameters. And then I'll move my playhead back to the beginning and then just change my scale and it automatically adds a keyframe. And I'll change my rotation as well. So it's also rotating as it falls. And I'll play it back. And it falls onto the, the scene and then it finishes the animation. Now let me add the photo. And now I have a nice little photo animation quickly and easily. I'm going to add one more effect from Rampant Design. If you haven't heard of Rampant Design, go check out rampantdesigntools.com for lots of effects. Let me show you one of them. I've got these lighting effects that I'll just composite in by layering on top. And I'll change this video from fit to fill and the blend mode to add. Now I have a really cool lighting effect from my photo slideshow. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoy Photo Table, and you can download it today at johnblue.com.